Hey guys, appreciate you coming out. Um, big challenge ahead of us going out to Penn State, play a really good football team. So try to answer any questions you have. Greg, before the season started, would you have signed up for this five and five going to the two Eastern opponents? Is where you thought you would be, maybe? No, nah, you know when the season starts, you would never. At least I would never sign up for this. No, but it's where we find ourselves. So try to make the most of it. When you look at Penn State on film, I mean, what stands out about that defense? Well, they're really good. I mean, they're a top ten scoring defense in the country. So that means no one has scored. When you when you reach that level, it means not many people have scored points on you. Um, they're really, really athletic. They run very well. Uh, I think their secondary is outstanding. They got really um, very athletic linebackers. And even though they've lost some guys to season-ending injuries in the defensive front, um, they're still very good. So, yeah, it's, there's a reason that they're top ten scoring defense. When you go into a game like this, uh, what are like some of the keys that you, in your mind that Rutgers, this team in particular, needs to do? Is it win the turnover battle? Is it um, got to rush for uh, this amount of yards, keep Penn State under something? What are the keys to, to winning this game? Well, I, I can tell you this: whether it's this game or any game, you got to take care of the football first and foremost, right? Um, when we don't turn the ball over, we win. At least in twenty twenty one, so that I guess would be the first thing take care of the football and then the next thing would be if we can take it away from them it gives us a real good chance so that's where it starts but there's a lot of things that make that happen right some of it is schematics some of it is techniques all those things have to come into play but more than anything you got to play really really hard over an extended period of time and that takes a great deal of focus with all the bowl talk, I mean, how do you keep these guys focused and keep their heads into it and not watching TV or social media or any of that other distraction? That's their choice. You know, I've, I've educated them that there's no such thing as multitasking. People, you know, people who believe they can do that, you're just average tasking is what you're doing. You're doing two things, sort of, sort of, right? And look, we're not good enough. We may not be good enough to win the game. I don't know that. We're going to find that out Saturday. But I know we're not good enough to be watching that and watching that. that. That doesn't work. So I hope they trust me and believe that what I'm telling them is the truth and uh, that our whole focus has to be on Penn State. Greg, it seems like along the interior of the defensive line, you're starting to rotate more and more guys in, and the snap counts are starting to equal out between starters and backups. Would you say there's more of a growing confidence in the defense, in the interior and then uh, some of the skill sets that these guys bring? Well, really, it's um, every position – other than the nose guard has been equal the whole season. So really all you're talking about is a nose guard position where uh, Keontae Hamilton got more snaps in relation to to Julius. And that really is nothing that Julius has done wrong. It's what Keontae's done well. He's played really well. And I really feel if you have a guy that's in there fresh, I don't care how experienced, a fresh good player is going to be more productive. And uh, – this gives us an opportunity to make sure Julius is always fresh because Keontae is really uh, pulling his weight. Raekwon, that play, why, why is he perfectly suited to make that play? Because I think it's two years in a row. And I, I, yeah, It is two years in a row, um, two for two. Raekwon is a really athletic offensive lineman, right? And um, if you watch him like throw and run and catch you know he's a he's a tight end trapped in an o tackles body so uh, i think it's really good usage of the personnel and i thought it was a very good uh sense of timing you know for a play when we needed it did you try that play with zuta back in the day my memory is uh, correct anthony davis as well yep with down the goal line, that sort of like single wing look, what was the origin of that? Was that something you just didn't get to last season, or was that something you put in specifically this year? Uh, that's something that Sean has had. You know, you can only, again, we had no training camp, no spring practice, no summer. So, I mean, there's only so much we could do last year. And I think it was really a good little tweak. It's not anything new per se, it's just a tweak on something we had existing. But it was it was good. And I think Johnny's versatility is really starting to show now. And we need to continue to do that. I think John's an elite athlete and he's a big man. So we have to find ways to get him involved. And I think I think we are. I think we just have to continue to do that.
So what have you seen from uh, Tyreen Powell's development and progress that's kind of allowed him to start having the type of impact that he's had lately? Oh, he's just a really, really good athlete that works really, really hard at becoming a good player. He is, uh, we have a few guys in that first class that we signed, you know, that 11-day class that are just unbelievable workers, love the game of football, and have instincts. You know, they're football players. He's one of them. I might get you on one of these sentimental questions eventually, but any feeling about going back to Penn State? I know the place meant a lot to you back in the day. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get caught up in it because we have a job to do, but heck, it's where I cut my teeth in coaching. You know, I learned from some of the greatest coaches to ever coach football there, and uh, Coach Paterno was a huge part of my development as well as the staff there. So, uh, yeah, it, it means something, but that's not the... That's not the job right now. The job is for me to stay focused on on what we have to do, and that's what I will do. But it'll be neat to go back. I went back there as an assistant twice um, and when I was at Ohio State. But to go back with my team, my own team now, uh, certainly it'll mean something. Frank Drew Singleton, guy doesn't get talked about a ton about on defense. Um, but talk about his contribution, what he's made in a big game last weekend. He had two weekends in a row. I thought he played really well. Drew brings it every down. He's such a high-energy player. He's a very physical player. You know, when he hits you, you know it. And Drew's going to continue to be a big part of what we do. Um, I think he's a leader on our team. He's a guy that um, is proving what he is every week. Greg, I want to talk a little bit about Christian Izian. He's been a pretty sure tackler for you this season. Um, in terms of, do you see him as not only a DB, but more of an extra linebacker because of that ability he has? Well, a lot of, a lot of times, Richie, he's involved in the run force, and he needs to be. He needs to get down there and make tackles uh, as well as play the pass. So it's a tricky position. Uh, he's good at it. Um, he made some really nice plays Saturday. I know you've talked about Penn State and, they're not a rivalry. Do you think it's, whether it's Penn State or Maryland or whoever, do you think it's important to eventually have a rival, like a year-long foil that all the energy of a program is kind of directed to from start to finish? Do you have to have it? No. Is it good for college football? Yes. Is it good for a program? I think 100%. If you've ever been a part of them, it's a lot of fun. It just makes, you know, college football is fun, and that makes it even more fun. I've been part of some of the biggest, I mean, probably the biggest, you know, when you used to talk about first it was Pitt, Penn State, and then it was Miami, Florida State, and then Ohio State, Michigan. Those are like really big, big rivalries, and I, I long for us to have a rival like that. The thing that I've said to you guys before is you can't decide who it is. I'd like to make them. No, it doesn't work. You need to play your way into it, and uh, when we do, then we'll have a rival. We haven't done that yet. The road. Um, this is an environment. No, I'm, I, 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 this is an environment like there's only a couple of them in the Big Ten where you're going to have like this type of. You know, why is this team? You know, why are you confident that your, that your team can handle this adversity? I mean, we, we've we've shown, I think, that the road doesn't really affect us one way or the other. We're going to go out and do the best we can. We played at Michigan, and I thought, you know, didn't win the game, but played well. Um, and that's a big crowd. You know, I, I, I like it personally. I love uh, when you take your team on the road, it's just your 74 guys and your staff, and away you go. And uh, yeah, there is a little bit of us against the world, so that's fun. Uh, this will be a great opportunity. They're a real good team, though, so you know, playing them on the road, playing them at home, it wouldn't matter. They're very good. You were at Randall High School last time Rutgers uh, won, won that game. Anything stand out? Any any memories you know, when you found out that Rutgers beat uh, you know uh, Rutgers that game? I know you probably talked to Scott Ernie through the years and Dick Anderson and some of the other people who were involved in that. Anything you know come to mind when you when, when you think? What back year about was that? that? Eighty eight. Well, if I was at Randall High School, then I am uh, much younger than I thought I was. I thought you might have been assistant that year. Eighty eight is that? Is that when they beat him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking you were saying I was in high school. No. I was kind of hoping no. I'd have to recheck my no, birth I, certificate. I, 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 yeah. I thought you might have been a student. No. Yeah, I, you know, obviously I have a close relationship with Coach Anderson. He's yeah. one of my mentors and a very close friend of the family. Um, and I thought it was a great win. You know, I remember um, one of the guys that, that still works at Rutgers, Doug Kokoski, was a big part of that goal line stand. Um 
So uh, yeah, that was uh, that's a memorable event, right? A memorable event in Rutgers football history. Uh, we we look forward to having some more. Thanks, guys.